Yeah, so there's a lot there. So number one, I think Cam Kelly was playing really well, and 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 I and I wasn't playing him enough. And I just after the Georgia Tech game, I just said, I, I said, I I, I got to play him. He he deserves to play. He's one of our best players. And it was just hard because him and Conley were primarily playing the same position. And so there was part of that. The other part of it was, you know, against Duke, we knew the nickel was going to need to be involved in the run fit some. And um, and that's that's a strength of JQ's. You know, we, we thought we, we actually thought, you know, with pressure would be a part of it, too. And we kind of got away from that a little bit. But, um, you know, so pressure and we just felt like that was better. And then with Don, you know, Don is, is a I man. I, I mean, he's really the unsung hero of that whole thing, right? Because we, we moved him out to play corner because, you know, with Storm not going, we just felt like we needed a, a more veteran guy as the third option out there. And I thought Don played really well. So, I mean, Don Chapman played four positions Saturday, right? He played both corners, nickel, and he played Will linebacker in, in, in one of our six DB deals. So, um, you know, I was really proud of those guys. I thought they played well. Be getting those two guys in the best position, talking about Cam and JQ, to help us. And I think sometimes it'll be JQ back at safety more and sometimes it'll be JQ at nickel more. And I think as Storm gets healthier, it'll probably impact that a little bit too. So, I, they, you know, I was proud of how they, they handled it really well. Um, you know, JQ played almost all his snaps at nickel, um, but we were ready for him to go in at safety if we needed him to. And, and Geo Biggers played really well. And Geo Biggers played free and bandit and played really well. So I was proud of all those guys.